1. Her fondness of reading mystery novels and fairy tales made her blank. A. Superstitious. B. Gullible. C. Easygoing. D. Trustworthy. 1. B. Gullible is the answer because normally, fairy tales and mystery novels have plots that are too fancy to believe in, making readers believe in the impossible and at times in the illogical. 2. The editor found the news story not so entertaining. He found it full of A. Adjectives. B. Verbs. C. Pronouns. D. Adverbs. 2. C. The answer is pronoun because all other given options are content words. Content words are those that carry meaning nouns, verbs, adverbs, and adjectives are samples of this. On the other hand functions words are those that don't have any meaning if isolated with the content. Words, preposition, conjunctions, and pronouns are samples of this. In addition, function words are just there to give support to content word, and so, a sentence filled with function words would be normally dull. 3. Ebbett and Evan were mischievous children. They blank tricks of their teachers which always got them into a lot of trouble. A. Could have played. B. Used to play. C. Could play. D. May have played. 3. B. Used to, is the answer because this phrase connotes an action that was done consistently in the past while the other options that used modals such as could and may connotes ability and possibility. 4. Samantha's eye are blurred and her hands cried. She, blank, at the computer for six long hours. Finally, she took a break. A. Was seated. B. Has seated. C. Would have seated. D. Had been seated. 4. B. This item's concerns tense. The answer, has seated, is in the present perfect tense and it truly fits the thought of the sentence. Remember that the present perfect tense connotes actions that started in the past and would have two possible outcomes, one, still happening, two, recently ended. In the sentence, she underscore, blank, at the computer for six long hours, we are not certain if the subject is still using the computer. You might confuse this to be under the past perfect tense because of the sentence that followed. Finally, she took a break, remember that if the two independent clauses are not separated by a period like, she underscore, blank, at the computer for six long hours before she finally took a break, then we must use the past perfect tense. But in this item, there are three separate sentences. 5. When will Mr. Padilla retire? Soon, I think he, blank, for a long time. He will probably retire this year. A. Have been working. B. Had been working. C. Has been working. D. Is working. 5. C. The answer is, has been working, because the subject is singular, that is why we can't use have. We must not also use had because it is only used in sentences in the past perfect or past perfect progressive tenses. 6. There are great movies that are worth watching once, there are some that are worth watching twice blank, there are movies that are worth watching over and over again. A. But. B. Still. C. And. D. Nevertheless. 6. C, and, is the answer because we are just merely enumerating things. 7. If I, blank, rich, I would travel abroad every year. A. Were. B. Am. C. Should be. D. Was. 7. Answer. A. The sentence in this item is an, if clause, and so the tense must be consistent. It is also unlikely for us to use was, or am, for it has always been, if I were. 8. This seat work is difficult for Paul and, blank. A. Myself. B. I. C. Me. D. Himself. 8. Answer. C. Remember that, I, is used as the subject or the doer of the action, while, me, is used as the receiver of the action. In the sentence given in this item the pronoun is the receiver of the action. And that is why, me, is the answer. 9. The candy cane smells blank. A. Sweet. B. Sweetly. C. Sweeter. D. More sweet. 9. Answer. A. Always remember that, verbs of senses may take two forms, one, as a linking verb, or as a two. Action verb. If it functions as a linking verb, then it must be followed by an adjective. On the other hand, if it functions as an action verb, then it must be followed by an adverb. In this sentence, since that candy cane is not capable of moving, we can say that smells functions as a linking verb, so it must be followed by the adjective sweet. 10. Whether or not a man likes what he, blank, is the measure of choosing well. A. Choose. B. Has chosen. C. Chose. D. Is choosing. 10. B. The answer is, has chosen, because the sentence states a condition that started in the past and still true at present. 11. Which ed end sound is different? A. Needed. B. Granted. C. Wanted. D. Signed. 11. D. Signed, is the answer because it only has one syllable and that affected its ending, ed. Sound. 12. Which among these words has the ending, d, sound? A. Joked. B. Laughed. C. Walked. D. Played. 12. D. Played, is the answer because all other words are with t, and sounds. 13. 
Which among these words has the Z end sound? A. Maps. B. Jokes. C. Laps. D. Buys. 13. D. Buys is the answer because all other given words end with S sounds. B U Y S ends with Z sound because the sound before the letter S is voiced. 14. Which among these words has the it end sound? A. Praised. B. Mailed. C. Judged. D. Needed. 14. D. Needed is the answer because among the given options it is the only one with more than one syllable that changed the ending ed sound to id. 15. Which among these words has the zh end sound? A. She. B. Excursion. C. Chips. D. Fish. 15. B. Excursion is the answer because all the other options have either per chain or shush sounds. 16. My loyalty to my party ends where my loyalty to my country begins. This quotation is from A. Manuel L. Quezon. B. Carlos P. Garcia. C. Manuel A. Rojas. D. Ferdinand E. Marcos. 16. A is the answer because the quotation given is one Manuel L. Quezon's most famous. 17. The Filipino is worth dying for. This quotation by A. Benino Aquino. B. Carlos P. Garcia. C. Jose Rizal. D. Fidel V. Ramos. 17. A is the answer because the quotation given is one of Benino Aquino's most famous quotes. Plus the fact that this quotation can be found on our 500 peso bill. 18. You see things that are and you ask why but I dream that never were and ask why not. A. Clear thinking. B. Immortality. C. Curiosity. D. Rich imagination. 18. D. Curiosity and rich imagination would be our two possible answers but D is better than C. Because asking, why, is being curious, while asking, why not, is being imaginative. 19. The song, No Man is an Island, mirrors. A. Individualization. B. Solitude. C. Independence. D. Brotherhood. 19. D. Brotherhood, is the answer because all the other options are its antonyms. 20. The space shuttle is as fast as the wind. This is an example of. A. Simile. B. Metaphor. C. Personification. D. Antithesis. 20. But the answer is simile because the statement compared two objects using the word as. 21. Blank wrote without seeing the dawn. A. Maximo Ramos. B. Stephen Javelana. C. Paz M. Benitez. D. Magdalena Gelandoni. 21. B is the answer Stephen Javelana. 22. She is the son of my world. This is an example of. A. Simile. B. Metaphor. C. Hyperbole. D. Onomatopoeia. 22. B. The statement given is a direct comparison, that is why the answer is metaphor. 23. Who is the author of this famous quote, I die just when the dawn breaks to herald the day? A. Benino Aquino. B. Manuel L. Quezon. C. Jose Rizal. D. Andres Bonifacio. Answer. C. Jose Rizal. 24. This Filipino author wrote about the ill-fated love affair of Jose Rizal and Leonor Rivera. A. Arturo Roder. B. Francisco Icasano. C. Zoilo Galing. D. Nick Joaquin. Answer. D. Nick Joaquin. 25. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Which word should retain its pitch to? Show confidence. A. Am. B. Captain. C. Master. D. Fate. 25. A. Am. Is the answer because being a verb of being knit connotes a statement of condition. 26. Read the following lines. Midnight, not a sound from the pavement. Has the moon lost its memory? She is smiling alone. In the lamplight the withered leaves collect at my feet, and the wind begins to moan. These lines mean. A. Confusion. B. Optimism. C. Loneliness. 26. C is the answer. These lines were taken from the musical Cats, and if we are to read, sing these lines. Loneliness would be the obvious emotion. 27. Woe to every backbiter, Quran. This is about. A. Sorrow for those who oppose others' opinion. B. Punishment for those who say good things. C. Anguish for those who defend. D. Misery for those who talk ill of others. 27. D is the best answer because all the other options debunk the main statement. 28. The man without a purpose is like a ship without a rudder, Thomas Carlyle. From this line, we can infer that A. There should be sufficient energy in one's life. B. Direction can never come into one's life. C. One's life doesn't need to be controlled. D. There is a strong driving force in one's life. D is the most appropriate answer because all other options are not in any way related to the quotation and some options debunk the statement. 29. Which among the lines below has the same meaning as this statement, our commitments can develop us or can destroy us but either way they will define us a flexible commitment is what we need today b we must make full commitment to worldly goals
C. Our lives are shaped by what we are committed to. D. Our commitments need not to be planned way ahead. C. Because option C somewhat states that our commitments would describe and determine the person that we are. 30. Have a good bank account, a good cook and a good digestion, Rousseau is pertaining to. A. Security. B. Family. C. Duty. D. Investment. 30. A. Security, is the answer because all the options given constitute to it. Option A embraces the importance of family, duty, and investment.